Hey friends, Gator Rum here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to another Five Friday Favorites. Today we're talking all about leather crossbody bags. a treat for you today. We are talking all about my favorite leather crossbody bags. I've realized that I don't talk a lot about smaller bags or I don't talk a lot about crossbody bags, I guess. Um, I talk a lot about sling bags and fanny belt bag type bags. I talk about tote bags a lot, carry on bags, backpacks, but this seems to be that kind of like medium size bag that I don't really touch on a lot, but I do have a handful of them that are my favorites that are in a constant rotation in my collection. So I thought today I would just talk about the leather ones. Um, I have others <laughs> that are other materials, but I've narrowed it down to just the yummy like leather bags today. All right, so how this video is gonna work, I'm gonna go through each one of these bags very briefly with you, tell you why I love them, try them on for you so that you can kind of compare how each of them look on the body. And then I will have today's blog post pinned at the top of the comments as well as in the description box, which will go through all of these bags like on a post so that you could see them easier. And if I have individual reviews for them, I will of course have the videos in that blog post so that you can see these bags packed up kind of in more detail, um, possibly a different color of the bag if I have like a different version of it. So all of that will be in that blog post there. If I don't have an individual review and packing video on one of the bags that I've touched on today, because I do think I might have like two of them that I haven't reviewed, um, by themselves yet, that review will be coming um, because I do kind of want to touch on those in more detail. And once I do do that one, I will make sure to update the blog post so that that review is there as well. So make sure you click on over there if you want any more like details um, of these bags. I will also have right down here kind of in each, um, as I'm talking about each bag, a little banner that comes up that will have the actual name of the bag since I don't remember all of them, the color that I have, um, and kind of the retail price just so that you can kind of know the basics of the bag as I'm going through each one. All right, up first, these bags are in no particular order, and yes, I have more than five today. I've really tried to narrow it down for five, for five Friday favorites, but I usually will go over maybe by one or two bags, and I think that's what's happening today. But up first is a bag that I got from my husband for Christmas this past year, and I have used it a ton, and I've really, really been enjoying it, and that is this small little micro YSL bag. It is absolutely beautiful. The leather is so high quality. Um, I don't have a lot of black bags in my collection, and surprisingly, this one goes with everything, and I have carried it a ton. Um, there's been a couple of, like, more dressier times that I've needed a bag like this that I'm so glad I had it. I went to a wedding, I had a couple of different like events and this has just been like the perfect little bag. It actually holds more than you think it would. Like I can fit everything that I need in here and some. Um, it just is the perfect size for like all those small essentials. You don't have, oh, you do actually. You have inside the bag here, a couple of card slots, it's black, so it's kind of hard to see. But besides these card slots, you don't have any more um, like pockets or zippers or anything like that inside this one. On the back of the bag though, you do have this kind of open pocket, which I don't really use much to be honest, just because when you have this bag like fully packed, um, you don't have a lot of room right here in this one, but you could easily slip your phone down in there. I have done that before. Um, the strap on this one is just, stationary on the bag it is this beautiful chain strap with this like leather accent here at the top of it um you can wear it over your shoulder um like a shoulder carry if you want to i am shorter <laughs> i am like five foot nothing so it's obviously long on me to wear it over my shoulder but it is the perfect length to wear crossbody i love that the chain has this like leather piece here because it just sits really comfortably on my shoulder. Doesn't really slide around. It is a great length on me. It comes like right here to like my hip bones. Um, but if you are taller, I think it would be even better because I do wish it sat just a smidge shorter on me, but I think it's fine this length also, obviously. I think it's okay, but it's a really, really cute carry. Um, it's one of my favorite, favorite cross putty bags. 
Up next is a really cute leather crossbody from Ondar. Ondar is one of the companies that I absolutely love their leather. The quality is just so good. And this crossbody bag is super cute. They actually just launched it in a really pretty light, like sand color, which I was this close to grabbing. And I'm like, no, I have it in black. It's fine. I have a lot of brown, <laughs> like leather crossbody bags. Um, but this one is a really good one. It is like a structured crossbody that actually holds the perfect amount. Um, on the back of the bag here, you do have one kind of open magnetic type pocket. And then the clasp here has a little turn like lock and you can open up the crossbody um, like so and see everything that you have inside of it. You do have one zipper pocket as well as one other kind of like slip pocket on the inside here of this bag. It holds in my opinion, like the perfect amount of stuff. Like you have a little bit of extra room if you want to put maybe like a book inside or my Kindle or something like that and still have enough room for all like the bare essentials. It's like a really good, like everyday type crossbody bag. It's super comfortable to carry. Again, the leather is such good, good quality. Um, the strap here is removable. So if you wanted to kind of add a different strap or something of color for summer or what have you, you could easily do that here. The strap is also adjustable. So it does have um, these little kind of buttons, if you will, that you can make the bag shorter or longer. I have it on kind of right in the middle, actually, as far as the setting on it. And I could easily go shorter with this one, definitely, because it's a little bit long, kind of the way that it's sitting on me. Um, but just to show you how easy it is to adjust it, you just can just kind of like open the little buttons here of the strap and adjust it and you can have it shorter or longer. Here it is on the tightest setting. So the shortest setting of this bag and you can see it's a much better length on me just because I'm shorter. But if you are taller, you have a long, long like strap length to adjust it. But I think it's a really cute, just kind of everyday crossbody. Up next is a bag that I recently did a review on and I kind of teased it a little bit over on Instagram in some of my like kind of everyday stories and a lot of you wanted to see this one in more detail and it might be, I mean, it's definitely one of my favorites in this collection here of leather crossbodies. It is just so crazy comfortable and I love the organization of this one. It is the Chloe crossbody bag from Mina Bay. I love the way that this one looks. I love kind of the detail of the leather on the side of the bag. It is a little bit of a crescent shape as you can see here. Um, again, this one adjusts very similar to that Ondar one with like the buttons here on the side. I have this one on the loosest setting. So opposite of that one that I just showed you and it is the perfect length on me. Like I really, really like the way that it sits. It's comfortable. I like how thick these straps are because it just makes it really comfortable to carry. It's easy to get stuff in and out of. And I really like this tan color. Um, it does come in a couple of other colorways, black, um, probably a couple other brown colors. Um, so you can definitely kind of change this up if this tan color isn't your jam, but it is one of my favorite shades from Mina Bay. Um, on the back here of the bag, you do have one zipper pocket, throw your phone in here or your keys or something that you need to grab for quickly. And then the zipper closes the whole way at the top here of the crossbody. And when you open it up, it has some of the best internal organization I think I've ever seen. <laughs> you have a zip pocket here, an open pocket kind of back here in the back, which holds the Mina Bay wallet perfectly. And then over on this side, you have another magnetic pocket as well as these two pockets here in the front. So lots of ways to like organize this one, yet the inside like main um, area of the bag is perfect for like to put a pouch in there or just to organize it however you want. Um, this one packs up like a dream.
Keeping with Mina Bay for this next one, and this is one that wasn't even on my list of bags to include in today's video. It's kind of one that I forgot about because I kind of view it as more of a sling bag or a fanny pack um, because you do have the option to wear it like that. You have a spot here on the back of the bag that you can actually loop the strap through like this so that you can wear it as a traditional fanny. I don't wear this one like that. I usually will wear it like a crossbody, so I thought it was worth mentioning in today's video because just like that Chloe bag, the inside of this one has so much organization as well. You have a zipper pocket, you have card slots, you have these two little kind of pockets on the front of the bag, um, and then you also have, yeah, you have like a little pen loop kind of over here on the side. So. It actually holds more than you think it would being this small. This color is their, I think it's their newest color. It's the beautiful cocoa color that I am absolutely obsessed with, especially with this gold hardware. It looks so, so good. <laughs> Throwing this bag on really quickly so that you can see what this one looks like crossbody wise. Um, like I mentioned, you can wear it like a fanny if you want. I tend to always wear it crossbody like this, or I will sometimes make it a little bit higher and kind of wear it more as like a sling bag here. Um, you can adjust the straps really easily. I have mine here on, oh goodness, is it like the tightest one? It is, oh, I'm sorry, it's like not, not buttons. I'm like looking for buttons like the other one. This one is just adjustable by moving it up and down like the bag here. So you have even more like control and flexibility with this one. I can make this one much more tighter as you can see here. So I have a little bit of given the strap here and it fits perfectly um, like so. So this is how I like to wear this one. Moving on to another crossbody bag that I just recently got and just did a review on. It has been a fast, fast favorite of mine. I think it is absolutely beautiful and it is this Claire V Moyen messenger bag. I love the leather of this one. It is like a woven type leather. I love the way that it kind of hobos as you're wearing it. And I know that over time it's just going to continue to like soften. It is like such, such good material. Um, you can wear this one by the shoulder strap like you see here. Um, or you can also wear this one with the optional crossbody strap. Both of these straps are removable. So again, like some of these other bags, if you wanted to change them up and put like a colored strap or a pattern strap or what have you, you could definitely do that. Um, this one here is not adjustable. So this is how it kind of hits on my body. I'm five foot nothing, <laughs> just for size reference, if I didn't mention that earlier in the video. Um, but it fits at a really kind of comfortable um, length on me. And I really, really like this one. Um, it comes in a bunch of different colors, really pretty, like light cream color. This kind of tan color though is definitely my jam. <laughs> Opening up the inside of this one, because I have to show you what the interior color looks like. It is this beautiful, like blue denim color and it complements the brown, like so well. I think it's just so kind of classic looking. I can't say enough about it. I really, really love this one. Last but certainly not least are two leather crossbodies that I think are very similar in size and they're a bit bigger than some of these other ones. Not like tote style bigger, but just a little bit bigger. <laughs> and that is the Lily Jade Brittany bag and this bag here from Latico Leathers. I forget the actual style name of this one. Um, but I will of course have those down below here. I'm gonna start off here with the Lily Jade Brit Brittany bag. There's not a lot of bags that I've had in my collection for years. Um, it's just what I do. <laughs> like here in my channel, I rotate them very often. Um, I will buy them, I will sell them, I will get new colors of the same styles that I love. You guys kind of know the drill. So it's not very often that I can attest to like the longevity of a bag, like especially one from like years and years and years. But this one is a favorite of mine and that I've had for a very long time, a good couple of years now. Um, it is the Britney bag from Lily Jade in their old English leather. Lily Jade has some of the best leather, especially their old English leather. It holds up just so, so well. Um, this is my absolute favorite. I still have a handful of bags from Lily Jade in my collection in this old English leather, and I absolutely love it. It holds up 
so well. This is such a great like everyday size. You have the option on the back here to actually wear this one like a backpack, like a cute small leather backpack. Um, I usually will carry mine by this, um, the straps here at the top, like over like the crook of my arm. It's a great just kind of carry bag like this. Um, or I will carry it over my shoulder or even crossbody. This strap is fully adjustable, making it really easy to go from shoulder carry to crossbody carry if you're taller, if you're shorter. I have mine um, here on a pretty loose setting. I'm gonna make it just a little bit tighter so that it fits a little bit higher up on me for a crossbody carry. All right, I'm all adjusted here so you can kind of see what this bag looks like crossbody. I could almost go like a little bit higher on the strap here. Um, and then of course you can carry it over your shoulder like I mentioned, but it is really cute and it is a comfortable um, and fully adjustable here. Um, the inside of this bag is really pretty looking. It has a light lining, which you guys know I love inside bags. You have a couple of different pockets. You have a zipper pocket back here. And it is like the greatest like everyday style. You have a pocket in the front here, you have another pocket back here in the back of the bag, and you have these two kind of side pockets here that you could put a water bottle in there if you wanted to, or just slip your phone or keys inside. It is like I mentioned, a great kind of everyday carry. It holds just the right amount of stuff in here. Um, it is one of my favorites and it's why it is still in my collection after all of these years. Um, they do have like a vegan leather option, I believe in this one, as well as black, a um, couple of different colorways, but my personal favorite is this Old English. And with all of your Lily Jade bags, you get this really pretty kind of leather tassel with the jade beads. So it's kind of like their signature thing, but I absolutely love it. This one is such a favorite. Lastly is this bag here from Latico Leather, and I love how soft this particular bag is. I like the design detail that's kind of in the stitching of the leather here on the front. This is another one that comes in a ton of different colors. You have this exterior pocket here in the front that goes pretty deep into this um, bag, like all the way over here. You can see my hand goes all the way in. So you can really fit whatever you want in this outside pocket. One of the features that I really like about this one is when you're looking down at the very top of the bag here, you have a full zipper closure, but you have this small little magnetic like hidden pocket, which is perfect to like slip your cell phone down inside and no one really knows it's there. It's like a hidden like exterior pocket. So I love that about this bag. I like the different straps here at the top of it and the zipper pocket on the back. When you unzip the inside of this one, you do have a good bit of internal organization, just like some of those other ones. You have a um, zip pocket, spot for some pen loops over there and card slots if you can kind of open it so that you can see it there this is one that i need to do a full detail review on it because it packs up so well i really enjoy carrying it um you also have some more pockets over here on this side of the bag so this is a great again like a perfect like everyday size i usually carry this one like this over like the crook of my arm but you could easily wear it crossbody or like shoulder carry. Um, you could do either one with that. But I just like how comfortable the straps are and I usually tend to carry it like this. Alrighty, I think that does it for today's video. I will have today's blog post pinned down in the top of the comments as well as the description box if you want any more details on any of these bags. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to help. Um, but until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.